This is gonna make my Sony ZV-1 the perfect vlogging camera. So I have been vlogging on the Sony ZV-1 for about a month or so, and I have really enjoyed vlogging with this camera. It's small, compact size, it has that flip LCD screen, um, it has great image quality for being such a small camera, and I love this feature that when you press record, there's a red light here showing that it's recording, which is something that saves you very often, you wouldn't believe it. But the only predicament I've had with the Sony ZV-1 is, is that if I want a wide focal length, then the footage is gonna be shaky, but if I want smooth footage, then it's gonna be too tight, which means it just looks like a floating head and I'm not getting the surroundings that I want when I'm vlogging. That's why I think the wide angle lens from Alonzi with the ZV-1 is gonna be the perfect pair because then I'll be able to have smooth footage with a wide point of view. All right, let's open up the box and see what we got. So this is the Ulanzi WL-1 wide angle lens, also macro lens at the same time, which is quite interesting. We'll look at that later. Uh, we got some instructions. We got a uh, cleaning cloth thing. And then we got these little stickers. So these stickers basically you have to attach to the bottom of this filter, which then you'll glue on to the end of your camera, and then you can attach the lens easily. Sounds a little bit sketchy, but um, let's try it out. So we're gonna first open up the camera and just make sure that the lens is open, and we're gonna peel off this little sticker that I've already put onto this little filter. So you just peel that off, and then now you have this, and I wanna make sure that I get this right in the middle. I've never been good at this kind of like hand, hand, do yourself with your hand things, like crafts right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me put the lens in so I can push really hard. Okay, so put this here. Feels quite sturdy. And then what you're gonna do then, you're gonna take the back cap off the lens. And then you're gonna screw it on to this filter. <laughs> I haven't done this before. And voila, if we turn on the camera. Now, it's a little bit bigger, but let's see how much wider this makes. As well, if you screw off the front half, this is the wide angle feature, you end up being with this, which ends up being the macro. So you kind of get this cool macro wide angle combo in the same set. Let's go outside and test how wide it is with the Lonzi lens and without the Lonzi lens. So this is how wide the Sony ZV-1 is if I'm just using the standard stabilization. Uh, it's pretty good, but I noticed that if I'm walking and talking, then right away, it's too shaky. So let me put the active stabilization mode on. So now we have the active mode, which is a lot smoother, but look, it crops in too much, which makes me look like just this floating head, you know. So let's put on the Alonzi lens and see how much wider it gets. Just gotta get it on the tracks again. There we go. Get it all the way tightened on. Look at that, now we get the active stabilization, plus we get the width of the standard mode. I think this is gonna be the perfect vlogging camera. And just to test it out in the real world situation, my wife and I were gonna head out to do some shopping for the office, and I thought I would vlog it all on the CV-1 with the Lonzi wide angle lens. Let's still see if I add my man for a pixel clip, does it get even wider and easier to hold. All right, so now I've got the pixel clip here and it's easy to hold, I'm able to place it down wherever I want and I got the same stabilization. This is a pretty killer setup. First pit stop, time to uh, get some gas and then we head off to Ikea to get some office stuff. The checklist or mission for today is to get some rugs for the office to dampen the echo, 
uh, maybe some picture frames and then stuff stuff for the kitchen so uh pretty basic day hopefully they have stuff because my one friend just said that he went to ikea in thumbbed which is two hours away from us and there was a shortage of all stuff so that'd be a little bit of a loss to drive two hours south and not get anything so let's hope for the best open the gas lever That is expensive gas, Euro 75. That's like $2.50 Canadian, which is like double what we we're paying Canada. Oh man. $60 Canadian dollars to fill up half the tank. That's pretty expensive. I think that's how much we pay to fill up the whole tank for our Hyundai Tucson in Canada. Now we're driving a Kia Rio. All right, off done, better we go. Lunch, then at Kia. Made it to Tampere. Time for some lunch with some friends. Sun is shining. A rare occurrence here in Finland. I almost need sunglasses, so bright. Here's our friends, Alexi, Laura. Fun fact, we crashed their honeymoon. They're still together, so that's probably a good sign, right? Yeah. They got some marriage tips from Vera and I, because you know, we, we got a good marriage, so. Nice lunch with our friends Alexi and Laura. Now it's time to get some more batteries for the ZV-1 because uh, the only downside about this little guy is that the batteries don't last very long. All right, we made it to our main destination. Tip number one going to Ikea, never take your jacket along with you because you're gonna get hot and sweaty. So just wear your sweater and you'll be okay. Tip number two, have a plan going into this store because if you don't have a plan of what you need to buy, you're gonna be spending a whole lot of money. My Swedish friends, we're coming for you. Kia. Okay, time to put a mask on. I'm looking forward to the day when there's no more masks. So like I said, we don't have an Ikea in our hometown, so we gotta drive to the city called Tampere, which is like second biggest city here in Finland. And uh, the goal of the day is to get some carpets or rugs for the office to make the echo less. Maybe some picture frames and then some stuff for the kitchen. So getting office supplies today. Vera's the captain. She knows how to get around, right? Yep. I told you we were doing, uh, you know, very efficient. She's moving and going at the same time. We can't even stop to grab stuff. She's got to be <laughs> yeah, moving. That's yeah, this is, this is our moving cart. You can't stop. Shoehorn. Always good for the shoes. The car is moving. The car is moving. It is moving. Oh man. This is what I'm talking about. You come to Ikea, think you're gonna buy like five things, and we haven't even got to the main things, and shopping cart's almost getting full already. Here's one of the carpets we're all gonna take. Got a bigger version. The time is right now uh, 3.25, and we're already in the main hall, which means we've been here for only 30 minutes maybe, which is pretty dang good for Ikea if I say so myself. Honey, thanks for doing all the heavy lifting. Everything's been going well so far, but um, when we went to go pick up the final rug, the big version of this, we didn't find any. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, that they have some in the storage warehouse. Otherwise, this trip was a little bit of a fail. Moment of truth, they said there should be six here, but they weren't in the place that they should be, but maybe there's another place for them. Did you? <laughs> Successful IKEA mission, got the rug that we need. Quickly, honey, grab it before all the other people go. No, don't go, don't go. <laughs> yes, let me do the heavy lifting. And of course, after a long day of shopping, uh, you treat yourself to some hot dog and ice cream at IKEA. All right, mission accomplished here at IKEA. We came. We got what we needed and we left on time. And we didn't break the budget too much. I think in total we spent 452 euros to get carpets, rugs for the office, picture frames, kitchen stuff. We got it all. So uh, thank you, Ikea. And also got some drinks and food to finish the day. Successful day, got what we needed done. And um, it was pretty nice to vlog with this Sony ZV-1. Definitely enjoyed vlogging in public a lot more with a smaller setup like this camera. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We're out of here.